What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to episode 20 of my City Skyline Let's Play series here on Devon Valley. So, in the last episode we built this chestnut district, um, as well as a few other bits, but now it's currently upgrading. Uh, we did these little shops, they were garages originally, but they've upgraded now to other shops, which is a bit strange. I did prefer the look of the garages, but they've upgraded because they're now a different level, so we can look, see they're like max level now. So they're now like organic food markets and things like that. Um, these houses, they're built in quite nicely, they're quite small as you can see. Um, and the idea of this was that once these had built in, like they all have along here, we can then get the select tool, we can go across there, and then we can fill in the gaps and we can get like a really tight density along here. Um, we do definitely still need to keep adding more rows of houses um, at some uh, with the select tool again. Um, We've got all that to do. I don't want to go too close to the shops because it will cause adverse effects for the people. They don't like being near the shops. They say it's too noisy. Um, but we're going to continue this along. I'm going to do a few just one uh, blocks as well. So we're going to get completely different sized houses around just to mix it up. See what happens if we do this. Um, you know, I, I saw it on. I think I was searching on probably just on. Uh, the internet on Google, or something like that, for you know, just different variety of houses um, on vanilla, and this was one of the ways of doing it. It's just in different sized blocks, so we can get like a nice tight residency here. The idea was hopefully to get like a bit more of different, you know, different variety for us to see, because we don't want to keep seeing the same houses over and over again. Um, again, they're building straight where they shouldn't have. They should have built there, but you know, that'll be fine. Um, I did want to get some stuff done over here now. So we've got this area over here, which is our lakeside muse. I did build this land again a few episodes ago, which we had issues with the flooding, but it seems to have worked. So I was thinking we could maybe get some of the uh, special stuff down here. There was, um, where is it? On one of these somewhere, there was the option of adding. Oh yeah, here it is on the on the ledger stuff. So we've got like fishing pier. We could put one of them here. I know I still need to do stuff with this. Um, we can do a fishing tours so they can go out on tours. We've got a jet ski rental again, people can rent jet skis from here. We've got a marina, so again, a bit of auto save going on. I'm going to add all these down here. Then we're going to hope it doesn't flood again. We've got a restaurant pier, you know, that might be quite nice. That'll probably work better. Well, we'll put it there on the, on the edge here. Um, we've got Beach volleyball courts, we can add them. Riding stables, could probably add that. We can make a whole leisure district down here. Uh, we've got floating cafe again. We'll put one of them here. A fishing island. You know that will work in between these two. In fact, there's a nice gap there for that. I'm gonna pause it while we do this because we haven't got any electric and that down here. And the other one is just a tropical garden. So we need to get water, electric, and roads. So. Start with our water, we can literally just run it directly across like so. Bring it up into our district. I'm gonna do it connecting up at this end as well, just because I'd rather make sure. And then we will cover here just in case we add extra bits, because there's gonna be a road there. Electric wise, we'll sort that out in a minute once we've got this road in place. So for a road, we're just gonna do a standard two-way road. I don't know if this is gonna be close enough. We might actually have to do it literally right against it. Um, Let's delete that for now. Let's see. That's as close as we can get. Okay, so that works. We'll go into this bit here. Then it's just a case of running it along here. I need to get it close because obviously we need to make sure they're all okay. Um, boom. That works. I would like to get a road going up here, but I'm not sure if this bank is too steep. Um, we can try that at some point. I'm probably going to have to delete this section of road actually um, we need to quickly terraform here just a little bit more just to bring it up a slightly higher level does it allow me to do it? it is a little bit but again we might get a little bit of flooding now because I've done that um, now let's choose the road again let's choose the curve let's put it back down to where it should be we'll bring it up like so I don't want too big a curve I just want to be able to there you go that will work and then we're going to try and bring it up here so let's try and do that together now while we're all on. In fact, I will need to delete this path before I forget. And then we need to try and bring it into there. 
and that's not too steep an angle that actually works quite well and then there was one of the services the water pumping service um, I need to try and find where that was is this one here I believe the pumping service so the pumping service is a fleet of vacuum trucks that are sent out when there are flooding, flooded buildings in the city the trucks travel as close to the location as they can and upon encountering water fill their tanks with it the collected water is released into the sewer system at the pumping service depot so we get one of them in, they are, it is quite large um, so we don't want to buy the zoo and that, that would be a bit encroaching on that we've got a nice space here which would work so it's not too far away but again it gives everybody access to everything, they need a connection to the water system which, boom, we've done that straight away they should have connection to power because of that we need to connect power down here but I thought this would be quite a nice little thing so we've got, you know, walkways it looks like it's flooding already, I don't know why this road's up in the air I did have it terraformed, let's just see if you know, they have access, let's hope the water goes down um, they're all complaining of water and electric still, that should go in a minute electric wise we could put a, a turbine just literally here and that connects that power in to that there so they've all got their own power grid we'll then connect up this end of the road here which we forgot to do like so with a straight one so that there opens this up I thought that'd be quite nice look we've got a nice marina there bobbing away we've got our cafe I don't know why it's got the German flag on top of it, but you know it is what it is. Uh, a marina, jet ski hire. But that's a hell of a jump for the jet skis. I wish we could place these down lower, um, but yeah, we can't unfortunately. Uh, a restaurant pier, another little thing, and then yeah. So all of these, I think they're quite nice. I, like I said, I wish they were lower, but you know it is what it is. It's the best we can get got people already using these roads we could build some parks down here um, I need to have a look actually uh, for getting the monuments we've got to get for this one here I want to get um, you've got to get special uh, you've got to get the beehive um, construct metro park you know lots of different things so down here what, what we have is I've already done these ones so fantastic sound and I think these ones they're just all different things basically, they all add different uh, parts of the city plus with the dead you've got to get um, fill free cemeteries get really poorly citizens which oh, it's difficult because I want to get this stuff in but I don't want to ruin our city to get it in um, average garbage pile by building at least 25 so we've got to basically just make it so that they're, they're filthy basically um, we'll have a look what we haven't got the tax offices wouldn't really work down here they're a bit big official park a much official very park the official park is a neat little park that people like to visit so I'd happily put that down here I think that could work it would be better if that was flat but you know we will make do with that this building here we need to put that one and that one up somewhere these are going to be better up in our city maybe we could put them up on our new area ok they're quite noisy so we'd have to build a second road coming out uh, let me just sort this out because I just saw there was no power down here for this guy uh, so we'll get the power connecting up it's literally just a little tiny short spurt to there uh, our airport is starting to work nicely now you can see we've got a lot of people coming out of the train station I presume they're all going to the airport let's pause it and have a double check where they're all going driving to the Japanese garden so they're driving all the way over there so we could do again a metro line maybe um, connecting over here because we have a metro stop right there that connects into that so let's actually have a quick look at that so our metro is this one here metro line wise we're going to the ground you can see we've got a dead end stop here that's the train line so not that one um, so yeah there's this one here that's the end of it and that goes up into this district so we need to maybe get a metro line from the end of this one we could loop it around and maybe connect it up over here difficulty being is we need to go down so we'd have to like loop around down and then around and down but we could get it to work um, let's have a think we need to curve it so let's bring it like so I want to go down again 
So that's that bit there. Now this one here will be the difficult part. We need to connect it up to here whilst curving it. So we're going to curve down, bring it down, Um, where is it we need to curve up to? Because we need to get it all the way up to here. So that is actually working. I mean, that actually works straight away, so that's pretty good. So it goes along like that. It's a bit of a sharp turn there, but I think we'll be okay. We're not going to get too many trams on that line. So we're going to do a link from here. And then to here. And back again. And this is just going to be a, literally a loop to get people around here, so they can use... Oh, I don't know what's gone on there, but it kind of... I think we've got another thing I've accidentally created a line by accident. So let's uh, go into our systems, go into our routes, go to our metro, which is this one. There should be one that's not got a, a line on it somewhere. No, that one's that one's fine. Um, our new one, this one here maybe. I hope that's not it. Where is it? Got to look for one with no passengers. There it is, Metro Line 28. It's going to have two vehicles. I think two will be absolutely fine. So it might stop people then using this train station to get around. They could use the Metro, but let's unpause it. There's a lot of people here now. A lot of tourists. We could do with maybe putting some parks and that around here just to make it look nicer. So again, I always do a dog park. We've got one. We need to maybe put one here. So just before you go on holiday, can people take pets with them now? Put one there. Um, so that's that area done. What I wanted to do in this episode was again we need to keep working on getting more people in. Uh, we've got shop and industry that we need to sort out. So we need to maybe zone up some more up here, get some more shops and zones in. So down here the Ember District and Middle Heights, it's literally going to now be full of just pure shops and offices. It's going to be our main zone so we're going to need to get some transport in here. We don't have any transport links I don't think let's check we've got no metro I've got one metro there um, we could definitely do with adding another one over this side I think could probably get that one there that would work quite well right beside the cemetery um, we can have that so that will connect up into this loop maybe let's have a look um, that might be too close we could maybe loop it like so I need to see where this one goes first of all so this one clip clicks literally just to there it's just a straightforward loop. Is it even being used? We'll have to have a look. Yeah, it seems to be doing pretty well actually. Um, it is a. Let's get the correct line, that would be good. Fair view to shops, is that the one? Yep. 583 people are using that one. So that's working really well. So let's connect another line up to this section. Um, and we can then curve it. Right, let's start on this one so we can curve it down. A more realistic looking angle up to about I think where's the line if you even just do that that would work well then we can connect this one here we can add a drag I think it is um, press X to drag a, a line yeah we'll do that and then we'll put it there so that gives them an extra stop uh, and then we can put a second stop there How do I get this other one there? Maybe we'll have to just have it so it goes like that. Does it work? Let's time will tell I think on that one. We can maybe get another new cable car um running on here as well. That would maybe work. People would use the cable cars I'm sure. Let's go from the shops up here, because there's a hill. It's not too big, but it should be, you know, easily accessible with a cable car system. Um again that's quite short, so that would be quite workable. We could get that one then just to connect up. I always forget this one here. Needs to go onto a road sideways, which is gosh darn awkward. Um, there we go. And then cable car. That one there, please. Um, that's going to come out the back or side, is it? I would go either side, that's fantastic. So we'll do that. It's just a, literally a little short loop. But it's going to mean people might use that instead of, you know, driving down here. You can see we've got a lot of cars here at the moment. We can check the traffic lights and things. So stop signs, that's absolutely fine. That's what we want. Um, 
yeah that seems to be working this is definitely a lot more usable it's quite quite a steady one we could even do a footpath as well which I think we've got one here it's a bit steep but people are using it they are kind of floating but yeah that's a uh, fantastic um, we've got obviously this train station working really well at the moment people using it our transport as I've been saying since the beginning is we're getting a lot of people using it it's working really well if we didn't have this we would be absolutely screwed with regards to the traffic in the city um, because there's a lot of people here now they're saying they've not got enough skilled workers um, so what do they want they need educated workers for a fashion shop well right okay let's see if we can maybe make this district a little bit better we could maybe do the education boost oh it's already on so yeah that's not fantastic I'm not sure how we're going to get more people into education if you guys have got ideas let me know um, but yeah this is building up quite nicely now with the different size buildings so if you do the single one they just go closer um, we're still waiting for the rest of this to zone in once that's done that's when we will you know, block zone it like we have over here so just going to get some block zones like this um, I thought that would look quite nice especially when they upgrade we're going to get all the houses to look more like that which should be more like the Coronation Street style um, you know fully terraced housing that I'm going for park wise over here we're going to struggle getting a lot of parks in because of the size of them so we are having to put them all around the outside I want to get another theme park in that would work well up around here so we need to definitely zone up some more housing as uh, housing some more roads up here so let's get back on to oh crikey um, let's get everybody home let's have a look where the tsunami warning is coming from nowhere near us here so we might be okay I was not expecting that so let's uh, wait for that to happen then guys now, so here we can see the little bit of the tsunami warning it's coming from the river then um, you can just see the red there I'm not too sure how much it's going to affect the city if at all because we're not close to any um, you know like main coastlines why is there an issue down here with the police We've got a police station right there so what's this going on here crime rate is high so to reduce the crime rate we can maybe put a police station down here that would end up deleting a house, that would delete a park um, I want to get one in here, I think it would be quite good to have one but I don't want to delete any of the old school houses that we've had here for so long we can maybe get a little road coming off but again that will still delete one of them um, yeah we'll, we'll have to put one down here somewhere I think I want to delete just one really but it's going to have to delete two I'll make them happy that's cool. That'll work. Look at these houses in the wicked, aren't they? Here, yeah, guys. It's about to start. Will it take us anywhere? I don't think we're even going to get affected here. We can see it. I think that's it coming down the river. But like I said, there's not really too much of an issue here with, with water levels. Um, this might actually end up being absolutely nothing. So we can see the tsunami coming down, guys. It's not too bad it's still miles away um, I don't even think we're going to get hit so I'm still continuing on with just building up this area while that's happening I've not been showing too much because there's no point showing the tsunami not happening that's literally the most pointless thing in the world to see um, they're all built up here now so we can actually block zone this again let's select, select tool and then we can go across like so basically once these all build up to the bigger buildings like this they'll look a lot better in my opinion so we've got to just wait for them to build up. All right, what we're going to do while we're waiting for the tsunami to, if it even does, is we're going to get some of the other unique buildings put in place. So up here we've got the mayor's office, the city hall. I want to start getting in like the tax offices and things. That would work well down the bottom end here. So if we get an avenue built in, um, I'm actually going to delete one of these shops so we can build it across here like that. That'll work to the edge there. And we can definitely zone down here. Um, I don't want to go too close to the railway lines, obviously, but I think that would work okay. We can curve up by deleting a couple of these, like that. And curve around again. So 
different angle, that would work quite nicely. It's just nice to have different shapes sometimes. And we can go up and curve back in there. No, we can't because there's the uh, pylon in the way. I had a line there. That'll work. So there's a nice little loop there. Um, this bit doesn't work amazingly well for me, in my opinion. Um, let's get that curve across there. That's much better, much smoother. Here we go. Is the tsunami going to hit? Not really. It's going to keep going off, which is annoying, but... I don't see that hitting, and if it does, like I say, it's going to be absolutely tiny by the time it gets to us. Um, we could put a nice new recycle plant down here as well. Nice new, but we could put a new one down here, and we can bring it down with a straight line. Yes, I can delete that power for now, just so I can get the road in place. We can then just zone it to there and there. That'll work absolutely fine. And then garbage-wise, let's get a recycling plant down here. We don't need to worry about everything else. The recycle plant should be absolutely fine. Then the unique buildings like we were going to do. So tax office wise I think maybe we could put that one overlooking. So right on that part there. Let's get the water in as well while we're doing this. Um, they're already zoned up so that's absolutely fine. And then we'll connect that up like that. Cool. So that's the tax office there. People will visit that which is a bit weird. You know going to visit the tax office unless you need to go there for certain things. We've got the Colossal Orders office. The HQ of Colossal Orders is a super successful gaming company that makes millions. Requirement for building the Hadron Collider. So that is massive. That would be really cool. I kind of want that down in the you know, the districts down here with all the massive buildings. So we could maybe get this one somewhere down around here. We'd have to create a lot of space. You know, It's even too big to go down there. Um, would it work there? We could build it there, but I think that's residential. We'll find somewhere to put this one maybe on the highway something pretty or you know pretty epic like this needs needs to be on the show we could even put the whole building just there for it um, but we definitely want that one down I want to get all of these buildings down at some point so what we've got here we've got I think that's the aquarium that again would look better over here oh there we go around this type of area um, I don't want it by the pumping station because that will just be a bit strange we could even maybe put it by the airport down on the bit here where I want to build some stuff as well um, that's too close to the aquarium, too noisy in my opinion. We could build a road and put that there actually. Let's, let's do that. We'll get a little road that builds off of here. If we use our freeform tool we can actually run it around the coast quite nicely. Um, and then we'll get the aquarium in place down here. Like, come on, like so. I might even connect this up to this road. And if we connect it up to the roundabout, it would probably be better. Again, apologies about the tsunami warning going off. Um, I presume it would have hit by now if it was going to hit, so yeah, that'll work. Right guys, so here we have part of the flooding. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be too major. Again, it's only a little bit coming in. Um, we could barrier it off but I think we should just wait um, I don't own that bit actually so I can't barrier that off um, we're getting some flooding on the train tr lines we might get a little bit over here in to this district um, but again I don't see it being too bad again the trains are all stuck now lucky the road goes over there so they could just end up missing it that's close very close but it works they just missed that um, it's just flooding our water treatment systems. It's not quite going in here yet. Okay, it's too high up. Um, I'm not too sure if it's going to even come down any further than that. Seems to be dissipating now already. But yeah, we might get like, a little bit more flooding over here. Let's just keep watching it. I'll fast forward this and see where we get. Okay guys, so the tsunami is over, it's starting to recede now, so we had a little bit of flooding here and obviously just this part here flooded, so it's mainly just the train tracks, I don't think it even got to the residence zone it got really close to it, but not quite um, maybe around the back here, no not even there really, the trees again stopped that and you can see it all receding now, um, it did stop this tunnel, but again it wasn't anything too major, just the train tracks, or the train lines 
but again that wasn't even too bad I was expecting a lot worse to be honest from a tsunami um, again these guys are trapped in the water but they saw the water coming and they decided to drive into it as you probably saw with the yellow train over here but that's already cleared now and they've got a little bit of a puddle um, but that will clear itself yes yeah, so we need to quickly get some water and electric over to the aquarium um, before they get annoyed and leave that's the water done electric wise we can literally pull power from here to the aquarium like so I'm not too sure if I've had anybody visit yet probably not because it's not even I don't think it'll be active yet oh yeah I have seven people so that's okay we've had some people visit it not too many um, but having connections up to the highway to this side I think will work as well and they've got connections into the airport which is actually quite busy we're getting some good use on the airport now 543 passenger, passengers a, a week okay, only 42, 17, 31 so this is getting a bit quieter but we're getting a lot more stuff in this stuff seems to be working it seems to the water seems to have resided quite nicely now so 18 10, 9, 4, 1 it's not as many but we're getting some people using it so yeah I'm glad we put these in that's definitely added a nice little thing to the the city tsunami is a pain but again it didn't really do too much damage and it's just getting rid of this here now that's the issue right, I want to bring that back up level not too much um, seems to be yeah there you go that seems to be working seems to be getting it getting rid of that seems to be all pulling down here now um, but yeah this is this is the hardest part about the tsunami is actually getting rid of the water um, like I'm saying if we do this this is going to drain it out and if another tsunami comes we'll fill that in before then anyway but yeah this episode has been a bit different it's been about a small tsunami we've continued on with the chestnut district which I've, I'm liking this now and again the more these build up the more it's going to look like terraced housing which would be quite cool which is what I was going for down here um, but yeah if you've enjoyed this episode hit the like button if you are new please do drop a sub and a follow I'll be back again soon thanks for everybody bye bye